went back underneath the bridge and they were loading up with as many people. It's got to be dozens of people mm. in the back oh of that thing. Gosh. They take them to a nearby Walmart. Mm. Uh, and then the Walmart is where, uh, I guess, metro buses or school buses will take them to the shelter. The question is, what shelter are they taking them to? Because I heard Tom say GRB is overcrowded and, and uh, or not overcrowded, but at the capacity they had planned for. So right. I think they're, gosh, if, I, I certainly have that question. I don't know if we've answered it. But that's what you mean when you say disorganized organization, because there is at least some kind of system. I mean, earlier we've seen reporters have situations where people come out of water like this and it's late at night and they're wet and with their children and their pets and uh, they really have nowhere to go at least they have a system where they're taking them to a Walmart where they can be inside and and wait and figure out what comes next absolutely I, I think the people I talked to uh, all with the exception of one uh, they all were eager to go wherever the truck would take them Interestingly enough, hours ago, as dusk set in, the Coast Guard helicopters and the National Guard helicopters are, uh, had had pulled away. I hear one. There's no way we can see it. It's too far off. But I heard it pass over a military helicopter. I had talked to a sheriff's deputy earlier. They said they had uh, a quadriplegic who was uh, stuck in his home uh, and obviously needed immediate rescue. But uh, and they were going to try and do that one with a chopper. I don't know if that's what we're hearing, but I know that was something that they were discussing. Well, in, Ted, in the meantime, as we, it just continues to yeah. be this, this groups of people walking. Oh, as we watch these pictures, it's just, uh, you, you know, what this has turned into is a humanitarian crisis here. Because clearly, when you have a city that's paralyzed, and then you have tens and thousands of people needing to be rescued, and so many more at the shelters, and we're looking at pictures like this, even on the third day, nearly approaching our fourth day, we are dealing with the humanitarian crisis. It's, it's only going to get worse because... Where do all these people go? Are there enough shelters? What about food? What about clothing? What about Hopefully they'll open up more churches. Right. That's that's certainly a big resource we have in this community. A lot yeah. of churches that yeah. hopefully will step up. Any thoughts on that, uh, Ted? Well, I think we'll get to the point. Well, I think I think our Argentina will get to the point where I think we'll realize that we cannot shelter this many people in a city, even the size of Houston, because of the crisis that we are dealing with. Yeah. That our resources will be so strapped that we will likely have to uh, accept other people's offer to shelter some of the our neediest in, in, in other cities. It's Dallas, something we've, we've seen with virtually every offer. other major storm. Right. Yeah, Dallas is making well, a big offer. And right. we, Absolutely, but I mean, you'll remember in Katrina, Exactly. Houston opened bring its doors up. to yeah. host so many who became Houstonians. And so that's that's right. one one uh, programming note, as we say, our battery is about to die. So if you lose our picture, nothing bad has happened. It's just we need to change some equipment. Um, but but yes, I think that will be the answer for a lot of these people that eventually we will realize that unless they have friends or relatives who can who can take them in, yeah. we may have to um, temporarily relocate some of our uh, some of our neighbors. Well, let's see what happens, because, yes, we all do remember. Remember Hurricane Katrina, we had 150,000 evacuees in this region, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and many of them ended up staying. And, and we welcome them, of course, but we don't want to lose any Houstonians. This is a, <laughs> a, a city filled with heart. There's no question about that. And people are all, always opening up their, their hearts and souls to these folks, wanting them to, to come on in and feeding them and clothing them. And